What are your thoughts about going against another team next week in Tennessee for practice? Oh, it should be fun. We've kind of been running into each other a lot. So it'll be fun to go get somebody that don't really have all the keys and know the names of our plays and different things like that. So that's going to be pretty fun, I think. Will that be enough taste for most of you starters just to get those two practices in as preseason? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, I think we got a lot of starters. Speaking for the offense especially, I think we got a lot of starters that's played a lot of ball. Um, so I don't think it'll be too trying for us at all. And make sure those things don't get too crazy. There's always seems to be fights that break out. You don't. You just let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. <laughs> In terms of like everything that's happened, like like switching hotels, the drama and everything, would you say like it's been the most eventful training camp offseason that you've been through? Um. Yeah, I think so. That's a good point. I think so. Yeah, there's been a lot of stuff going on this this, this off season with us, but y you can kind of tell that like as crazy as it sounds, it hasn't really been a distraction to the team. Everybody's still been coming to work, super locked in, super focused every day. So that that is not that you say that that is kind of intriguing. Like there's been a lot going on this off season, but it hasn't. It doesn't feel like it really. Does it feel like camp is ending? even though you have to go out next week for another week somewhere? Oh, yeah, it's ending and then it restarting. You know what I mean? Just a day and a day. It's a restart, you know, kind of part two. <laughs> what, are, what are your thoughts about when Mar Marquise Hayes was lined up at left guard next to you for a little bit today and, um, or, you know, making his way as a rookie? And you know what that was like? Easier for you maybe as a first-round pick? Maybe not because it was difficult, but... Where's he coming along, and how are you helping him if you can? Uh, I like Big Mo a lot. Uh, I just like his mentality, the way he plays the game, the way he approaches the game. He's having fun, you know. He's trying to maul people, so that's really exciting for the future. You know, what I mean, knowing that he's going to be on our team and knowing that he's going to be able to keep growing and getting those progressions. We got a lot of reps today, and uh, just the way that he goes about it is really, it's really, it's really cool to see a young guy that's like that. Um, I think just getting him to understand the whole. Grand, the grand scheme of it. I think when I was a rookie, uh, it was a little bit more focused on we need to get this guy to do his job when it comes to one-on-one -on -one battles. Mo has kind of already developed that part. That's his part of the game. That, that's his part of the game that he has down to a science when it comes to him one-on-one -on -one against someone, uh, just putting hands on him and being in a position of control. Now we just kind of got to get him to see the broad picture and see everything and how it plays out. But he definitely got a bright future for sure. He, he, uh He's been described as kind of having an edge. Yeah, on the field. old school lineman. Yeah, old school lineman, Mauler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love Mo because, like I said, like it's certain stuff that you just can't coach. You know what I mean? Like we can get your feet right, we can get your technique right. We can't make you want to punch somebody in the face if you don't want to do it. It's just like you're never really gonna want to do it. But at nature, that's what he's thinking about. Like. <laughs> I might miss him, but I'm finna try to punch him right in the face. You know what I mean? It's like I love that. Like it's great. Like you a pup, and like that's your mindset. Oh, we're gonna be fine. Speaking of the mentality, how much has Will Hernandez like brought that to the room and to the line? Also, yeah, I think he fits right in because we got a, a lot of guys that's 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 all of, pretty much all of our mentality. So with Will coming in, he's not an outlier at all. I think he kind of brings adds to that. Like you said, he adds to that vibe, and and it, and it all matches well together. We call we call Will the fridge. <laughs> the fridge. How many nasty dudes do you guys have on the line? Uh, how many we got in the room? <laughs> <laughs> that's that. That's that's the yeah. Uh, Victor had singled you out as uh, just one of the guys that kind of pulled the young pass rushers aside and give them tips on you know, oh. kind of what to do. At what point in your career did you kind of feel comfortable in terms of taking on that role? Uh, I think I always just want to know. And I want to communicate, and we're all like, they're my teammates. So, like, if he doesn't move, that's great. I need to tell him, like, hey, bro, I may have blocked that, but that was really hard. Like, you know, did you just try to add this to it? You know what I mean? Because, like I said, this is our, this is, this is my team. Like, these are my teammates. So, when I see somebody doing something, I see somebody getting down on themselves because they're not getting an opportunity as a young player. I, I'm gonna keep him going and, and making sure that he's doing his job at that day. Because last year he was the, he was my practice guy that I was rushing against and I couldn't allow him to get down on himself in moments because I needed that look and I think in turn that kind of made him mentally know that we got to go every day we got to work every day but every time anytime I'm with a young player 
old player, I'm asking questions I need to know because like, I feel like that's that's how you learn. And I'm all about passing the game on to younger players and players that's looking for it. Because I mean, everything I know in this game, I didn't just wake up and think it like somebody gave it to me. So I'm always going to try to pass the game down as much as I can. There seemed like there was a good deal of energy at practice today. Mm -hmm. um, are you surprised at all, this deep in the camp, that it was there? No, nah, we got a bunch of competitors, man. Like, our team is full of a bunch of, like, just alpha dudes that want to compete and it don't matter. Like, we'll end this drill right now because we want to fight. Like, it's just, like, Cliff hates it because he don't like fights. And, like, I understand it. Like, you, you're a coach, it messes up the drills. But it's just, like, we got a bunch of dudes that's, like, compete so hard that, like, we'll take this thing to blows right now if we got to because it's just, like, that's the edge of our team is to compete, 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 compete. We're going to sell each other out. We're going to – if you lose, you're going to hear about it, and that's just kind of, like, it's nothing personal. That's just who we are when we get on the field. We love each other up. We all – I can shout with Dennis all day and go sit down and eat lunch with him, and be, he'd be right next to me, you know what I mean? I think that's just kind of, like, the, 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 the bond that we're starting to build and, and, and identity we're starting to build around here. I think that's – is that something that, that can help you avoid a, a second half collapse? Uh, yeah, I think keeping that role and being just continuing to have that edge and being competitive is definitely going to carry us far. We know it is trying to be accomplished in preseason games, but is there any talk about within the room about the Ravens winning streak and maybe trying to end that in the preseason? Um, in our room? Yeah, they've, they've won 21 consecutive preseason games, and they're like really proud of it. That's that's excited. <laughs> I don't really. I, <laughs> that's a that's a that's a new fact for me. I don't uh, I don't watch much TV, so I miss a lot of the like. You know, I'm a big Netflix and Amazon Prime guy, so I miss a lot of the like. I didn't know that. That's 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 pretty cool, man. That's, so I guess <laughs> no, I don't know. No, 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 no. I mean, knowing how everyone kind of approaches the preseason, is that one of the most bizarre? Winning streaks around. Um, I mean, that's a tough one. You got stumped me with that one. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really even know how to feel about that. It's, <laughs> it's exciting and strange all at the same time. I mean, it's winners win. I guess you know you trying to win. How about this one? Protecting the ball. You guys only had 15 turnovers a year ago. Seven games with zero turnovers at all, which is both franchise records. Can you talk about the importance of of, of that. Kept going forward this year. Keep the ball, score the ball. I think that's that's like the most. If you can hold on to that ball, we keep scoring points. We keep going down the field. So that's that's definitely gonna be huge. Continuing that trend.